Hey everyone, uh, it's a little early in the morning, uh, kind of fairly early actually, um, but I wanted to show you all something that the angels showed me yesterday, and this is the basically how the a couple of extra angel names were derived in the original John D. and Edward Kelly um, transmission, or maybe not derived isn't the right word, maybe embedded is a better word, in some of the things that they showed John D. and Edward Kelly. So one of the first things that the angels did is they showed the uh, two men um, a seven by seven table from which they could go on and create a heptagon about um, as part of the Sigillum Dei Ameth, or the SDA as it's known as. So I've gone ahead and reproduced that here and just shown you really briefly. Let me just show you really briefly. So ignore the triangles for a second unless you already kind of know where this is going. Um, but you see here, this is the archangel named Safkiel, if I write it out um, uh, vertically, right? So it's Safkiel, and then this is supposed to be a Z. Sorry about that. Uh, Tzadkiel, Kamael, Raphael, Haniel, Mikael, and Gabriel. And then this is a cross at the end, so you get a total of 49 um, letters, as it were. Now, the interesting thing that I noticed about this um, last night, or that the angels directed me to, what have you, um, is that the, it, for whatever reason, I was inspired, oh, okay, uh, it turns out that the letters of the angel of the Heptarchy, the high king of the angel of the Heptarchy, Karmara, are all available here. And I've put in triangles the ones that I think uh, are supposed to be used, and I'll get to that in a second. So when I was thinking about this, it was like, okay, to make Karmara, I need an R, and I need another R. And these are the only two R's available. Uh, there are two letter M's, you'll notice here, and I'll get back to that in a second because this is important. Um, and then there's a bunch of letters A, right? There's a couple here, here, here. So you notice the way I have this, it's almost a nice, you know, symmetrical pattern. Not quite, but it's pretty good. Um, but the other thing you'll notice is that the ones that I've chosen here, this letter A, A, C, R, A, M, R, these seven letters are actually one letter from each of the seven archangels. So each archangel is represented and that kind of makes sense if you have a king who is over all of the seven kings associated with planetary um, uh, powers, right? So if you look at the Heptarchy itself, those seven kings and princes, each one of them is associated with the day of the week. So that's very suggestive of the seven astrological planets. And of course, each of these archangels is also associated with that. Um, you know, comma L, for example, is associated. It's it's sometimes spelled like K H A M A E L, but you know, whatever. Raphael, um, in this version, you know, nowadays we we associated associate Raphael with um, with Mercury and Michael with the Sun, but back then it was switched, right? Um, but regardless, uh, Tzavkiel with Saturn, Sadkiel with Jupiter, Kamel with Mars, Raphael with um, the Sun, Michael with uh, Mercury, and then Gabriel, and Haniel with Venus, Michael with Mercury, and then Gabriel with the Moon. So what we have here is um, each of the seven archangels is sort of getting its say with this, you know, king over the you would you would almost consider them lower right like they're they're kings over these seven planets the the heptarchy but these archangels themselves they're higher up so if you're going to have a king over those things then they're going to need a higher power to call upon or to be derived from or to be embedded in whichever way you choose to model this I just would say it's it's imprinted in that. Now, one of the interesting things about 
um, King Karmara is that he is also represented, or he's also known uh, as Marmara, and it turns out that there, the other letter M right here is also in the name Kamael. So if you ignore this one, you still get the same pattern, right? of um, one letter from each of the names of the archangels, because there's no other letter M here. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And so yeah, so that's it for um, Karmara. I'm going to do uh, Haganel next. Uh, that one's a little bit more complicated, but I think it also answers a lot of questions about Haganel and why that prince, that high prince over the seven, prin seven other princes is, um, pretty interesting and some of the things that have been said about him are, are interesting and again not something that I would expect um, the scryer over this system Edward Kelly to really understand so I'll get to that in a second thanks